Well, life is constantly changing, but for parents, one of the biggest life changes is when the last of their children leave home. We recently became empty nesters and are dealing with all the emotions surrounding the realization that our kids are out of the house and our lives have changed. Uh, tonight, we share our experience and some tips to help you navigate that life-changing event when it comes time for your kids to leave the nest. Yeah, Francesca's the poopers, pooper. Those are your girl. chores. No, I'm not! It seems like just yesterday that settling disputes with three kids close in age was one of our Bring biggest up. parenting roles. That's not your name. Oh, uh, hey, hey, I think running with sticks is probably a bad idea. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. As they grew, our focus shifted as we constantly seemed to shuttle them to activities and practices and games. From the time they were little, our three children were very active, primarily in football and basketball. That pace would pick up and continue all the way through high school. Solero off to glass. Apparently she can't be stopped. It was fun. There were triumphs and milestones. And we all made memories to last a lifetime. And there were, of course, setbacks and disappointments. They were the focus of our lives, our most important job, a part of our identity. And then all of a sudden, it ended. It was a double whammy for us. Joseph Okagi Bessalero. Joe graduated first, followed a few days later by his twin sister, Frankie. There were smiles and a sense of accomplishment. Then there were tearful goodbyes at college, with Amelia insisting on making their beds one last time. And then, just like that, one day this fall, we we're all alone. It's a huge shift to now have an empty household or have your children out of the home. Um, it can be very disorienting for folks. Uh, so yeah, it's a big life change. Samantha Sorensen has counseled many empty nesters on how to navigate this sudden change and the emotions that come with it. I realized how sad you were when we were in the grocery store and I grabbed the large bag and I put it back and said, I'm not going to get this because no one's here to eat the leftovers anymore. I cried. Yeah. Hard. Well, not that hard, but. Honey, you had a breakdown in the chip aisle. <laughs> we laugh about it now, but at the time, it hurt. It turns out that's okay. It's really healthy and really normal to be able to, you know, cry, to laugh, to uh, feel anxious, um, whatever it may be. Anticipating any big change can be hard, so Sorensen recommends having meaningful conversations ahead of time. And don't forget about the kids. Plan regular calls or FaceTime chats. And remember, it's a monumental adjustment for them exactly. too. Yep, having giving them a little more freedom to, like you said, make those mistakes, figure things out on their own for maybe for the first time independently. Uh, that's a great thing. But even the well prepared will feel some pain. And she says, lean into it. Not avoiding the uncomfortable emotions, really trying to walk in and embrace some of that discomfort, because uh, that's going to help you get through some of those difficult phases. Well, we've been embracing it. Good. <laughs> yes, we <Great>. have. <laughs> Samantha told us if you're really in a slump, feeling isolated or down, or you just need some extra support, you should reach out to a mental health professional. And we have bonus coverage on WCCO.com slash Empty Nest with more parenting stories that we've done throughout the years. I thought I was okay. And every time I see that video or the pictures, I get choked up again. It's okay. Lean into it. I'm leaning into it. It's normal. <laughs> it might go on for quite a while. Yeah. The good I thing is, so. is that you look around and, you know, everyone around has gone through it and they've, I, they've all survived. Yeah, they have. Know? I did ask if I could put a tracker on the children. She, <laughs> she said, no, no, don't do that. Please don't. A little angle bracelet. <laughs> so that's what you and Gloria have to look forward to. Right? I, yes. Well, that'll be us next year. I, I think Gloria really wishes I'd get out of the nest, too. <laughs> but we're not going to go that that's, far. <laughs> that's a different story. That is. Well, you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm okay. fine. Okay, you got two and a half minutes to get it together while I do the weather. <laughs>